run your law firm the right way. This is the Maximum Lawyer Podcast. Maximum Lawyer Podcast. Your hosts, Jim Hacking and Tyson Mutrix. Let's partner up and maximize your firm. Welcome to the show. Welcome to another episode of the Maximum Lawyer Podcast. I'm Becca Eberhardt, CEO at Maximum Lawyer, and today I'm doing a quick episode on three things that I recommend that can help you simplify a few things that a lot of us do quite often. So my first recommendation is going to be unroll.me. So that's U-N-R-O-L-L dot me. Maybe your promotional or spam email has gotten out of control, but you don't even know where to start with tackling that daunting task. Unroll.me helps cut out a lot of time and simplifies this task. With Unroll.me, you can unsubscribe from unwanted emails, keep or roll up your emails into a condensed version. It takes a couple of steps to set this up, and then the site does the hard work for you. First, you'll have to set up two-step verification, then create an app password to allow Unroll.me to have access to your email account. The site does walk you through these two steps, and then after that is when they will find all of your subscriptions. On my personal email account, I had 65 subscriptions, which is way more than I thought I had. I honestly thought I had a dozen. So I was really excited to unsubscribe from about 75% of them. After you go through your initial list of subscribed emails, you'll be able to come back to your account and see new subscriptions as they creep in and then review them and unsubscribe or roll them up every now and then when you feel like your inbox is getting out of hand. If you decide to try this, you should share in the Facebook group how many subscriptions you had and we'll see how crazy this gets. Next up is a site called Moonpig. Yes, that's M-O-O-N-P-I-G dot com. This is a website you can go in and put all of your birthdays, anniversaries, and holidays that you want to send cards to, even a wedding you're invited to but can't make it to, and it will send you an email 14 days before each event. This gives you enough time to select a card, you can personalize them, and then send it in time for an on-time arrival. They also have an AI text generator in case you're not good at thinking of what to write inside the card. You can even handwrite your message. You just write what you want in the card on a piece of paper and take a photo of it, and then you upload that photo and they apply your writing inside the card. When you set reminders for cards you want to send, you also get 20% off of your card. Cards are such a great thing to automate like this so you can not have to carry the mental load of remembering every important birthday or anniversary or holiday that you like to send cards for. By entering the dates in once, you'll get reminders on repeat and never have to personally remember another special event or save this errand until the last minute and hope it ships in time to make it not look like you waited until the last minute to run to the store to find a just okay card and send it out. Moonpig will be your assistant reminding you ahead of time. And being able to personalize your card's text and even pictures makes you look extra thoughtful. Finally, my last recommendation is Camel Camel Camel, which is a free Amazon price tracker. Here's my issue with Amazon. A lot of the time deals or discounts on Amazon are not real. This was just a theory I had until last year during Amazon's Prime Day deals in July, I looked up a handful of items a couple of weeks prior to the Prime Days that I would be interested in buying if there was a great deal on them. I took screenshots of them so I would know it was the exact same item and what the price was two weeks earlier. One item had the red Prime Day deal banner and was the exact same price it was listed for two weeks earlier. Another was listed as a Prime Day deal as 54% off, though two weeks earlier it was $22, and on Prime Day it was $18. They just made the listed price higher so that the sale appears to be larger than it was. Another item actually costs slightly more than it did two weeks prior. Enter the website camelcamelcamel.com. 
you can get price drop alerts or you can see the price history of an item. To set a price drop alert, you just enter your desired price you want to pay. And once the price drops to that price or lower, they'll send you an email notification. Or if you want this information at your fingertips, you can add the Camelizer browser extension to see the price history as you browse in Amazon. You'll see the highest price it's been, the lowest price it's been, and the current price. This can help you determine if you don't need something right now, then you may want to wait until the price gets back down closer to that lowest price. That's it for this week. I hope you find these recommendations helpful and they can simplify a few things in your life. Thanks for listening to the Maximum Lawyer Podcast. To stay in contact with your host and to access more content, go to MaximumLawyer.com. Have a great week and catch you next time.